In problem number 27 of section 4.1, we're given a polynomial in two variables and asked to find its expression in, when it's centered at a certain value. Um, here we're given x equals 2, y equals 4. Now, in the last problem, you found that um, the co you found the coefficients for the expansion of a polynomial around some point in two-dimensional space, uh, 2, 4, for example. Um, and you found that well, just like in the case when you had a polynomial of a single variable, the, the b naught coefficient was, well, in this case we're going to write b0, 0, zero, is just equal to the polynomial evaluated at, um, at the center. So this becomes, uh, well, let's see, we have 2 times 2 squared, so 8 minus uh, 5 times 2 times 4, so 40, plus uh, y squared, so 4 squared is 16, minus 2, uh, or minus, so plus 16 minus 2, plus 12, plus 1. And if we add all these up, we get, let's see, we have 8, 12 is 20, uh, minus 40 is minus 20, uh, plus 16 is minus 4, and minus 2 is minus 6, plus 1 is minus 5. Now, when we actually write the entire expansion, it's going to look um, something like this. can be b naught plus b sub 0 comma 1, which is going to be um, no, the term of uh, the second, uh, second component of our center, so y minus center 4. It's going to be raised to the first power. And similarly, we'll have b 1, 0, which is x minus uh, 2 to the first power plus b sub 1 sub 1 and that's going to be x minus 2 times y minus 4. So each of these are raised to the first power plus b 2 sub 1 which is um, be x or 2 sub 0 sorry. So this would be x minus uh, 2, now we square it, and have the b, 0, 2 term, which is going to be y minus 4 squared. And we don't need to go any farther than that because then we would be including um, a mixed term or that involved a power of x and a power of y higher than um, 1. But if you look at the original polynomial, we see that we don't, we don't have that. So it's enough to stop here. If we keep continuing on, we'll just get coefficients of 0 anyway. So we found that b0, 0, 0 was negative 5. Now, b sub 1 comma 0 is equal to first derivative, or the partial derivative of the polynomial with respect to now x because we're looking at, because the 1 is in the first position, and then evaluate this at the center. So the partial of p with respect to x is oh, uh, 4x minus 5y minus 1. Right, if we evaluate that at 2, 4, we get 8 uh, minus 40, or excuse me, minus 20. Uh, minus 1, and this comes out to let's see, minus 13. So the 1, 0 term is minus 13.
And we continue on in a similar way for the rest of the, to find the rest of the coefficients. Uh, B, uh, let's see, zero, one. It's going to be a similar, um, we're going to feed this in a similar way as it's the partial of P now with respect to Y since um, the one is in the second position. And again, evaluate this at two, four. So partial with respect to y is negative 5x uh, plus 2y and plus 3. And evaluate this at uh, x equals 2, y equals 4. And we get uh, minus 10 plus 8 plus 3. And it's 11 minus 10. So no, just one. Now for the first mixed term, actually the only mixed term that we'll have in this expansion, we need to uh, do a mixed partial derivative. So in other words, this is going to be equal to the partial of p with respect to x then with respect to y, evaluate that at uh, 2, 4. Now, for most nice functions, it doesn't really matter if we um, take the partial with respect to x first and then with respect to y, or we start with y and then uh, finish by taking the partial with respect to x. And this is I mean, just a polynomial. It certainly is a nice enough function. Uh, so let's just do this um, first by taking the derivative with respect to x. So this is going to be the partial with respect to y of, um, now we want to take the partial with respect to x. So this is 4x minus 5y minus 1. So now we take the partial of this with respect to y, and we get minus 5. Of course, it's just a constant function, so evaluate it at 2, 4, and we still have minus 5. All right, for the last two, um, coefficients, uh, we have to take the second derivative, or second partial with respect to um, each of the variables. So uh, b20, for example, is going to be the second partial with respect to x, um, evaluated at 2, 4. But we also have to divide this by 1 half. This is equal to one half times, well, first derivative with respect to x, um, we just found that out to be uh, 4x minus 5y minus 1. Um, that should be partial with respect to x. Now if we take this derivative again uh, with respect to x, we get 1 half times uh, 4. And of course, evaluating it 2, 4. It's a constant function. It stays the same. And we end up with just 2. All right. Now, for the final coefficient, we do this one more time. and do pretty much what we just did, only now with respect to y. This is the partial, second partial of p with respect to y. And we divide that by 1 half. And evaluate it to 4. So this is, the first term goes to 0, we end up with um, minus 5x in the first coordinate, uh, plus 2y, 
plus 3. And let's see, we get 1 half times partial of uh, this with respect to y is 2. So our final answer uh, for this coefficient is just 1. And that gives us the complete expression for um, this polynomial in two variables centered at uh, x equals 2, y equals 4.